Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Combat Sports in Africa. We cover all things related to combat sports from the continent of Africa, from boxing to judo and everything in between. Before we begin, remember that you can find all references to the articles we mentioned in today's episode in the description. So let's dive right in. Now, I must admit, I don't get to follow Taekwondo as closely as I would like. It's a sport that's incredibly entertaining and dynamic. But you know what? There's only so much time in a day, right? So for today's episode, we're going to dive into the world of Taekwondo, specifically focusing on the African performance at Baku 2023 World Taekwondo Championships. We've sourced today's information from a couple of articles. The first one is titled, Côte d'Ivoire Chez Salah Cizé claims World Taekwondo Championship is from the African Post. And the second one titled, Cizé claims first World Taekwondo Championship, title seven years on from Olympic gold, is from Inside the Games. Ivory Coast Sheikh Salah Cizé made his mark at the championships in the men's under 87 kilograms division. This victory comes seven years after Cizé won the gold medal in the men's under-87 kilogram event at the 2016 Rio Olympics. What's remarkable is that he had never finished on a world championship podium in his illustrious career until now. Cizé's journey to the top was certainly compelling. He had a particularly impressive semi-final run where he beat Uzbekistan Marats Malvanov, followed by overcoming Gabon's London 2012 silver medalist Anthony Obame and Outshining Morocco's Ayu Basel, in the semifinals, Cizé proved too strong for Croatia's Pasco Bosic, scoring an 8-6 and 5-1 triumph. The final against defending champion Carlos Sansores of Mexico was a tightly contested match, but Cizé emerged victorious with a 2-1 victory in both rounds. It was a case of strategic play in both rounds. He built a 2-1 lead, conceded a late point, and scored and secured the win. Cizé's victory marks a significant moment in his career and a proud moment for African Taekwondo. His performance is a testament to the tenacity, skill, and spirit that African athletes bring to the global stage. So folks, let's take a moment to celebrate Cizé's outstanding achievement, and here's hoping that his victory will inspire a new generation of African Taekwondo practitioners. And that's it for today's episode. Stay tuned for more exciting discussion and insights into the world of African combat sports. Don't forget, you can find the articles we've referenced today in the episode description. Until next time, take care and keep training hard.